This is not a video I really want to make. I feel really strongly called to make this video. This is by far the most vulnerable, vulnerable video that I've made since I started making videos on YouTube. I even right now don't want to make this video, but I am. So I, what is the title of this video? I wrote it down. I don't usually do this. <laughs> the title is, I have always felt like the outsider and I know I am not alone. Or uh, sorry, <laughs> don't even remind me. I have always felt like the outsider and I know I am not the only one. So I'm gonna make this video. I've had a really, really, really rough couple of weeks. I feel like I'm not the only one in this. I've seen a lot of other people who are talking about they've been having a really rough time the past couple of weeks. But honestly, it's been rough. And I wanted to make a video about that. I changed actually the name of my channel to Health Causes Regeneration because there is so much more to health than what you eat. And during the tornado, my screen door got broken. So if you hear a door creaking upstairs, I'm waiting for that to get fixed. Um, I don't want to make this video. But if you feel like the outsider, you're not the only one. I have felt like the outsider my entire life. And one of the things that you do when you feel like the outsider is you either A, become the hermit, you B, become the mask wearer and the hermit, you C, become just a, a mask wearer, you D, become a mask wearer and somebody who has to get the first jab in on other people because you feel like if you do that, then people won't realize just how unfitting in you feel. And what E is like the, the, the life of the party. Now I have played all five of these. There has been most of my life where the entire like the entire day will encompass all five of these we tend to be the life of the party like the robin williams type person who you know i'm the always always the one entertaining everybody else but nobody realizes just how alone you are in your own environment and i have been living with this my entire life um, I've always felt like, like I've always watched other people get along really well. And then there was me and I, I tried to, but I just kind of operated at a different level than these people did. I kind of operated more in the spiritual and these other people were in the physical, you know, I've, a lot of other people, you know, were way more into the physical stuff that, than I was like, I wanted to be really bad. Like sex is the one that comes to my head first. Like men really just, I mean, they just go, want to go, uh, you know, do everybody that's even remotely attractive. And the thought comes into my head, but I really don't want to go through with it. And, and it's because I just feel like it'll be another connection that I don't really have, like, for example, for example, I was at the park the other day. I was filming uh, a video and I asked a couple of girls to be in this video and I was, it was just a harmless video at, at the park. And one of them came up to me afterwards on the way leaving and she's really pretty and she was hitting on me and I'm like, this is just another person that isn't going to understand me. So I just said hi and I just kept walking or hello and I just kept walking. It, it's it, it's it's ridiculous. Like, and then I've I've I, lately I've actually had a lot of people contacting me in the DMs, not about diet at all, which is fine, uh, but they've been contacting me about they can tell I'm a little out there, and they've always been out there themselves. And the people who are really out there, they start building up these walls, and that masks who are overweight, who really have 
just felt like we are just this outsider, we start building up actual physical walls. We start built like, I guess apparently the Teal Swan talks about this. I don't know, I tried to look for the videos. Um, I didn't really see them, but we actually build up physical walls where we try to get as much weight on us as possible. And a lot of us walk kind of like this and, and you know, protecting our heart and stuff like that. So you will actually start forming a wall of fat <laughs> around you. And a lot of, a lot of the keto <laughs> carnivore people are gonna come in here, oh, here's another excuse. Cool, have at it. Even if you eat healthy, because I was the healthiest eater in the group of friends that I had. All these other dudes who were skinny as balls were like eating Chef Boyer. I mean, I grew up in the 80s, so like Chef canned stuff was like, the 70s was like the epitome of canned food and like processed food and stuff like that. Like that was the Mecca but we really had a lot of it in the 80s. And all of these kids that I was growing up with was eating this kind of stuff. They were eating the Chef Boyardee and whatever else that my mom would not buy. She, would, she was always making everything from scratch and feeding us healthy. And I'm the fat one. Like what the hell causes this? Or you could be, you know, like my sister's not big at all. She's not big at all. She's like, not tall either. I think she's like 5'3 and like 105 pounds or like 100 pounds or something like that. I mean, my parents, you know, aren't that big either. There's just me. Like I was, you know, I went out with them uh, yesterday and like I'm taller than all of them. I'm wider than like my father and my sister like standing next to each other i'm wider than like shoulder like the like they're my width i'm like where did i come from and yes i look like my parents i know i'm not the male man's kid my entire life i've always felt like this outsider like every time i would talk about something it was just it was to the point where when i was growing up i started talking to the adults because i could have conversations with the adults and the kids over here they didn't understand me at all i'm like what am i like why can't anybody understand me i don't get it and it's kind of always been like that to the point where like my cousins really don't even talk to me because they knew that i was going to talk to my ankles like because i there was just such a disconnect there just such a disconnect and it hit me <laughs> like I knew I, I you know that I always follow that little voice in my head the only times that I've not followed that little voice in my head is the only time I've had regret and I don't like regret I would rather have rejection after rejection after rejection uh, of di just different things or things just failing or whatever I would rather have all of that that is so much easier on my heart than to think what could have been what could have been there's a couple of things this year that i knew i should have done and i didn't do and those are regrets and that i i can't live with that i can't live with that so i would rather have all the rejection all the failure in the world than have that on my mind and so that little voice in my head says you really have to get everybody out of your house you have to really kind of just be in your own energy and i hate it right i didn't want to do it i like having a feminine energy around a lot and it just i had to do it though i had to do it and i have been through hell this last couple of weeks bad now i know we were going through this lion's gate lion's gate i don't know what the hell that means it's leo season uh you know we're going through that we're in Mercury uh, retrograde right now. This is none of the none of the stuff I used to pay attention to because I always thought it was against the Bible. But then, if you read in Genesis, it tells you to pay attention to the moon cycles because it will tell you things. So it is technically, and I know the the books were fixed, so it's hard to really know what reality is with that whole thing and i finally started kind of just noticing that maybe we are in a physical meat suit maybe there is something to this and i have been crying so much lately 
I, I realized how much of a barrier and how much people haven't understood me my entire life. People think that, you know, I'm just this asshole because I don't want to talk or whatever, but it's just, I, I just feel, because I can feel energy. I read energy. I, you, you, it's so hard to lie to me, especially in person, because I can tell when you're lying to me. It, it, I can tell. Like, you'll get a smirk from me or something like that. I'll respond. I won't, I'm a, like, I, I don't call everybody out, but you'll get, like, a smirk from me. Most people who've known me for a while know uh, that I know <laughs> that they're lying to me. <sighs> It has just been, I actually Friday, Thursday and Friday, I did nothing. I did absolutely nothing other than realize just how ridiculous my life has been, especially this last 25 years. It has been ridiculous. It's so much so that my own father told me, I think it was last year, he's like, I could not handle your life. He's like, I would crack. He's like, I don't, you're a better man than me. I don't, I don't know how you've done it. I'm thankful that I have a roof over my head. And I'm, this is not, this is not about me. This video is about if you deal with this, you are not alone. I really don't want to just make this all about me, but I can only go by what I have been through. I'm not going to talk about all in, uh, in this video, finally catching up to me because I read this quote by um, the guy who was the actor in Pirates of the Caribbean. I forget. Um, and he, he said that the people who are crying aren't weak. They've just been strong for too long. And it that resonated with me hard, really hard. Because I have put in like that four or five different phases that I talked about that I don't even know if I remember at the beginning of this video. I have been living that my entire life, my entire life. There was one person, one person, I met her last October, one person that I have ever met in my life that understood me so well, so well, one person. So this, so if you are going through this, you're, you're not the only one. If you've been going through a lot, I know a lot of people who are just really in a bad spot this last year or so. It, it really, everything that I have been through hit me all at once. And I have just been on the floor, just like bawling. And it has been something that I've never been through. Matter of fact, I had never even cried to my remembrance until my cat died uh, to, in 2022. That's the first time it just came out of me. I was crying at the vet. I was crying on the way to the vet because I knew it was over. I. I just, it just hit, like just hit. It's crazy. Again, so if you have felt like the outsider your whole life and you've put all these walls and maybe even put up these physical walls in the, uh, in the way of fat and everything. Another thing that I've noticed about people who feel like the outsider is they try to make it look like they are never bothered by anything. They are always the ones just kind of always in this weird, good mood. Uh, nothing bothers them. It, it, it's just, that's another clear indicator that they are dealing with it. I, you know, you can't kid a kid or you cannot kid somebody who has dealt with this their whole life. If you are the outs, if you're the, on the inside, if you're one of these people who has always been able to just kind of live in this 3D world, you will not recognize the signs. I've, the only reason I know this is because I've seen people who are able to live on the quote inside or whatever and have all these normal lives. They don't see it. <laughs> they don't see it at all. They don't, they don't understand it. They don't recognize it. They wouldn't even come close to recognizing it if they tried. It's just those of us who really just like it's like a feeling of I don't belong on this planet. You'll hear us, people who are the outsiders say, I don't feel like I belong here. Like this isn't my realm. And a lot of the times is a pretty clear indicator of who we are because we generally talk to somebody older than us or actually way younger. I've noticed, I've noticed a lot of these outsider beings or whatever we are, are coming in now 
in the Gen Z and some of the millennials because I actually have found myself either getting along with older or way younger. My group in the middle, I just, I've never really gotten along with them that well, despite the fact that I was excruciatingly popular in school, but it was only because I was the entertainer. Or if I went to the gym, I lifted more than most people could ever even fathom, so I always had people watching me at the gym. I remember the ex that just, you know, the ex finally ex ex. Um, when I first moved out to Philly, she would go to the gym with me and she would crack up at like people would just stop and watch and look and watch me lift. And I'm like, this is not fun. I don't like this. But what do you do? If you flip out and tell everybody like, I don't feel like being watched. You're the roid rager. If you don't acknowledge it, you're the asshole. Like it's a, it's a lose lose situation in, in every way, shape and form. So you just have people watching you. People who lifted with me can account for this. I, I, I imagine they remember it. It was ridiculous. Like I got tired of always being watched. There's always everybody's entertainment, you know, but nobody ever understood me. Anyway, I've said this like five times in this video. If you, if this video resonated with you, you probably made it this far. You're not the only one. That doesn't do anything. Like telling people that they're not the only one doesn't really do anything. It's not gonna change the fact that you feel like an outsider to my knowledge. It's just the way things are. I, like, I don't know if we're on here on a special mission. I have no idea. You hear about this star seed thing, like we're here for an event. But yeah, it all hit me. It still is. Like if you see my face, my face is looking pretty rough right now. It's, I'm wearing it everywhere and I don't know what to do about it. That damn door. I don't know if you can hear that. And I, again, I didn't want to make this video. I still don't want to make this video. But here it is. And I'm going to publish it. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, it has been a very, very rough couple of weeks. I think it's probably why I've been going out and photographing people because it gets my mind off of it and having human interaction that is very limited is kind of fun. I might make more videos about this depending on who watches it, how many people, responses. I might move this over to my other channel, which I haven't published on in like months. This has been a very, very, very trying year. This year started off with me being physically attacked by somebody. And then it has just gotten stranger since. It's weird because I wrote when I was in third grade that I knew my life was going to completely change when I was 42, that I would at that point never work a normal job again, but I was going to go through something that was going to try me at every level. And um, I actually thought when I was 42, which was two years ago, um, I thought that because that was a, a bad year too. That's actually the year that I really started making videos on here. Uh, I thought that I thought that was I thought that was the end of it. I hope we're rearing the end of the separation of everything. And uh, in the Bible, it talks about you know you'll have the latter half of your years will be so good that you won't even remember the first half or whatever. I really hope that's the case. I know we are in some part orchestrators of our own life, but I don't know how much that's true. I really don't. I, I'm starting to think of this free will thing that's talked about in the Bible is actually just our ability to deny or accept God. 
I think that's what free will is. I don't think anything else we can change. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comment section on that one. If you've made it this far, this is a pretty long video. <clears throat> um, but from what I've seen, I truly believe that the only free will that we have is whether we believe that God exists or we don't. Because everything else, I think, was planned out before we came here. Because if you read, if you read the Bible, it says, I knew who you were before the earth even started. I knew what you would do before you even came here. I knew who you were before you came here. If God, whatever you want to call it, it's God, knew who you were and knew what you would do before you even came here, the only free will in that case would be to believe in God or not. That's it. And I think in life, you can only truly love yourself. And so whoever, because I feel like we are fragmented when we come here. I have reasons for this. It's very out there, esoteric. I, I feel like we are split up, like our soul is a bit split when we come here. And you can only truly love yourself. And when you find yourself, you will know it. They will be your, quote, soulmate. They will be whatever it is. And you can only truly love that person. Now, I know that I found that. But do they? Time will tell. I think I might leave it there. I think I might leave it there. I'm not trying to be super serious or anything or like super dramatic or anything. It has just been, I've always been the life of the party. I've always been the entertainer and I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I can't, I, I'm tired. I can't. It's not like I don't like making people laugh. And actually when people are in my life, they are always like, you, you make me laugh. And I like making people laugh. It makes me feel good. But the entertainer is tired. I'm sure the entertainer will be back because no matter how many videos I make of this, no how, how, matter how much quote healing that I go through, I'm never going to not feel like the outsider. And that's fine. I just have to realize that. Anyway, comments, questions down below, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.